I have to tell you this because of the way the situation. And on one side was the men's clothes, and on the other side was the women's clothes. Well, this guy was coming toward me as I was coming in, and he stopped me, and he goes, he says, hi, he goes, you're a very beautiful woman. <laughs> and he, he was good looking himself, he was, but he was kind of preppy, but he was good looking, and had curly hair. That's how he dressed, mm -hmm. kind of preppy. Like. Anyway, yeah, preppy, preppy. Don't you know how preppy is? Yeah. 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 That's what people call me. Yeah. Oh, really? Anyway, uh, he says, you know, would you, would you go out for coffee with me? And I said, no. I said, I'm a married woman, and, I, and I'm in a hurry. <laughs> so he said, uh, he kept insisting. He kept on. And I said, no, I can't. I'm really in a hurry. i got to go. And he said, um, I, finally, I just, I think I just came off. And he, I don't know where he went. I wasn't paying attention. I just went. I remember Earl was watching the boys for me. And I remember going straight to the back because I had a phone back there because I needed to call Earl for something. So I go straight back to the phones and called Earl. And as I was on the phone with Earl, here he is in his little, little MG. MG. Yeah, and the MG pulled, sports uh, car. Pulled right up in front of the doors, those doors where I was standing, you know, and just sat there looking at me like I was going to come out and get in the car with him. Uh, there's no way I was going to go out and get in the car with him. And so uh, I just got off the phone, turned around, went back inside the store. And then I was afraid to leave the store. And I didn't know it was Ted Pendy at the time. But later that week, or maybe that same week, later on in the week, there was news on. And they were talking about him and all the girls. Because I had the long, dark, black hair. Didn't you say he was really persistent when you... Yeah, he, he was very persistent. Yeah, I just said that. Yeah, I said he was very persistent. I kept on and on wanting me to go for a cup of coffee. And I kept saying, no, no, I can't. I'm a happily married woman, and I don't do that kind of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and so I was afraid to leave when I was ready to leave. Because I didn't know if he was out in the parking lot just waiting, you know. So I... I think I asked one of the um, workers if they could walk out with me. And, yeah. So then I then I got in my car and I kept watching to make sure no one was following me. Because I didn't want him to know where I lived. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what happened.